I'm 68 years old. And uh, so at 68, you feel like you ought to know something. And uh, then I'm going to be talking to somebody who's an expert. And um, we don't like to be told that we're wrong. But um, I knew I needed to know where I was making mistakes in, in um, finding a man and actually ending up with a um, really quality man and in a good long-term relationship. I, I was very nervous. I was very nervous because I didn't know what I was going to be told and would I be made to feel bad about myself? And, uh, oh, uh, would I be able to convey really where I was? Because I didn't even really know where I was. I was so confused myself. So, yeah, I was, I was very nervous about the call. But remember what happened? Yeah. I do. Very, uh, you were so gracious, so kind. You just told me to tell you about Kit and a little bit about what we do. And then I, you were able to give me some feedback. I think you asked if you could give me feedback and I wanted to have that. You were very gentle and you indicated that I was operating more out of my masculine side, which I had just been picking up a few tidbits online about we operate out of a masculine or a feminine side. And I was really struggling with, well, what does the feminine look like? I don't really know what it looks like. And, and what does the masculine look like? Because I, I've been a nurse for a while. You have to kind of, you know, be not give, well, giving orders in a way, in a nice way, directing people who are working with you on what they need to do. And so you kind of get in that mode, and I found out that that can be a lot of what the masculine is, is kind of directing and um, telling people, this is what I need you to do, and da-da-da-da-da. And we need to be that in the business world, but we don't necessarily need to be that in our relationships with men. And so um, I, that's where I was really off track a lot, and you were able to help me pinpoint different um, terminology and um, ways of expressing myself that put me in the masculine, operating out of the masculine instead of out of the feminine. So that was very helpful because I was very confused reading about that online, not knowing what was going on. And uh, then at the very end, um, and that was mainly what we talked about, a little bit about my background, but because you saw that that's where I was really struggling, I think, more in. And I was struggling a little bit um, with myself in terms of uh, uh, just um, what I had to offer. Was yeah. I, you know, I had, I had felt like I'd been rejected uh, because my husband left the marriage. And, and so my uh, feelings of uh, confidence were kind of shaky. Mm -hmm. And you helped me see that. And then, um, you presented uh, Empowered Woman and what we could do there. And I was excited about that right away. I, I thought, I, this is what I want to do. I, I need this one-on-one -on -one contact. So, Yeah. And so were you hesitant to join Empowered Womanhood? Uh... Well, um, the only hesitation for me was just the financial part. But it, it, I just thought, I have to make this happen. And it's very important to me. And so I'm going to make it happen. And I did make it happen. Uh, and then, yeah, the first time we got together on a call, I was a little nervous about the other women and are they going to be these glamorous models? And they're probably way younger than I am. And, um, you know, so I was intimidated about that. But um, shoot, by the time we were a few minutes into the first call, we're all just women with a lot of the same kinds of uh, questions and struggles. And um, I never felt any one-upmanship or anything the whole, the whole course that we were in. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, yeah. And so what did you like in working with Empowered Womanhood, specifically with Luba Evans, me? And what <laughs> kind of results did you get? The thing I think I enjoyed the most, besides just learning all these different tidbits, was the fact that at the close of each of our sessions, we were able to practice in person over Zoom the things that we were learning. So, you know, instruction on how would you express if um, a man did something two or three times in a row that, that was really pushing your boundaries. 
And um, so we learned, we actually had to talk and you would give us a, a scenario and then we would have to respond to it. And that was so helpful because then you would coach us along the way. Okay, well, okay, how about changing this a little bit, you know, and help it to become a more uh, true response from our heart because it really was from our heart, but we didn't know how to, to express it in a way that could be received by a man. And so I found that part to be very, very helpful. All the, the, the learning behind it, but to actually practice it without practicing it on a man at first and failing right away. So it's, it's fun. I, I've been having more fun than I have had in years. I just am really enjoying my life now and having men in my life again in a way like when I was in my 20s, which was a long time ago. <laughs>